Hi everyone, I'm Cocktail Christy, and I'm here to talk about a fun cocktail right around Prohibition era that was created, and it has many different iterations, but this is called the Corpse Reviver Number no. 2. So we're going to use uh, Cardinal Spirit Gin, um, Tini and Rossi Dry Vermouth, sorry, Cointreau, Lemon Juice, and an Absinthe Rinse. So an Absinthe Rinse just means that you take a little swirl of absinthe. And I know it's a little bit pricey, so you can buy the small ones too. So what you want to do is kind of get a little bit in your glass, swirl it around, and then dump it out. That's called a rinse. So everything else is going into a cocktail shaker. So I need one ounce of Cardinal Spirits Chin. Good stuff, actually. And I'm gonna use half ounce of Cointreau, one of my favorites. One thing all prohibitionary cocktails have in common, and you'll find this a lot, is they're using a lot of like the citrus and the flavors, just covering up all of the bad products they had to use. I give bartenders during prohibition a lot of credit. I mean, not only were they breaking the law, I'm sure they were having a lot of fun. Half ounce of the dry vermouth, and then three-fourths of an ounce of lemon. But they had to come up with really creative cocktails, and they weren't given such great products. So, oh, you hang up here. We're going to put our mixing tin and shake it up. Yeah, I give, think about what it must have been like back then. And, I mean, it must have been fun, I'm sure. Breaking the law. So, I just strain that into a coupe glass. And I'm going to garnish this with an orange peel. So, when I do an orange peel, I always want to express the oils, and then I just make a little boat. And that is the Corpse Reviver number two.